The next step of the timeline project is to put a background to some of your entries in the spreadsheet. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. Let's look at this one here, the Commonwealth Tour. What would be nice on this is to have an image of the Commonwealth as a background to this entry. So if we go to our live timeline, you'll see at the moment it's white. So let's have a look at how we can change this. So scroll along to the last entry, which is column R, and it says background. Now this is our Commonwealth one, so we want to put something in here. So let's go to Google, and we're gonna to go to Google Images, and I want to find something on the Commonwealth. So what I want to do now is find a legal one. We're gonna to go to Tools, click on Usage Rights, and choose Labeled for Non-Commercial Reuse with Modification. Now these are all the images that we are allowed to use. So let's click on one of these maps here of the Commonwealth. So I like this one here. So let's choose that. Now what we can do is we right click and we're going to go to copy image address. Okay, copy image address. Now on a PC, the menu might look slightly different, but it should be the same command here. Copy image address. So let's copy it. Let's go back to our spreadsheet and paste into there with Command or Control V. Now, let's go back to our timeline and refresh. And if we move along now, you can see that image is in the background of our interactive timeline. So what you can also do is add colors in these background cells as well. So what you need to do is you need to go and get the hexadecimal code for the color that you want. Now, if you go back to your Google Classroom, there is another link here. You can click on this link. It's gonna open up another link. And you can see this is the color palette for all the colors that you can possibly get. So we're gonna choose a color. So I'm gonna choose a yellow. And then you can drag this here to a, a, a color that you want. And this is the, what you need here, this number here. So we're going to take this and I'm going to copy it. So Command or Control C and then OK. Go back to your spreadsheet and then type hash and then paste that number in there. Return. So now we've got a color in the background. So let's go back to our timeline and refresh. And there you can see it's the yellow that we chose from our color palette on this website. That is now the background color of our title slide. That is the end of this step. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.